Alrighty, how are you guys doing? Now I'm going to kick off a little segment today um, looking at some of my favourite players and just doing a little lesson on what makes their uh, sound so characteristic and just a few little licks and things that represent some of their style if you can do that in a brief lesson. Uh, we're going to kick it off with the great man Robin Ford. Um, jazz, blues, rock, doesn't matter what you like. If you're into great playing and tone, Robin Ford is one of the guys. So I'm going to pull up a few licks on a program here called Transcribe. If you haven't checked it out, Transcribe is a lifesaver. I couldn't live without it now. It's a great little program. You can just drop a song in it or a file, and it's really, really quick to be able to grab loops of sections, slow it down, change the speed. That's what slow it down means. I actually meant change the key. So you can knock it up by semitones, take an E-flat tune, bang it up into regular to learn it. Uh, it is killer. Transcribe. you got to check it out. So, I have found some of his licks that we can have a quick look at. I'm going to play them back quickly like this. That's at 70%, for example. But at 100%, it should have been this. Okay, and then I'm just going to show you what they're about. Um, with Robin Ford, probably the first thing straight up um, is it's a very staccato kind of a style. Um, there's really not much that kind of runs into each other as far as the notes go. Largely pentatonic, um, of course not only, but you certainly hear a lot of that. So even in faster kind of runs, there's still a real um, clarity and separation to the notes. A lot of that. Um, he doesn't do as much vibrato and you know hanging on to bends with vibrato and stuff that most of us do. There's another kind of characteristic thing. So um, let's check this first lick out. It's in E. Um, this it's mostly an E blues and E minor pentatonic kind of licks. So starts with a uh, E minor arpeggio. Just a little triad. Yeah, and his vibrato tends to be fairly subtle and um, not too over the top. Um, then there's a little sequence. So a lot of the time he does these uh, little sequences of notes, particularly in pentatonics, um, which is generally kind of fourths. So it's doing this kind of a sound in the E minor pentatonic, just to give you an idea. Talking fast, trying to get a lot done. E minor pentatonic, and you do this sequence. Hard to pick. So he'll use that quite a bit. So we're going to use it in this lick like this. Just three notes as it turns out. So you got. Yeah. Okay. Then we got this one. This is one of his classic little things he throws in all the time. And it's just different enough to be tricky. Um, blues note. And then. So it's just the standard kind of a lick, right? But normally when you do we normally do a slurring thing, uh, you know, pull off to the... With his, it's always either all picked or certainly sounds like it. It's very rigid in the timing. And sometimes it sounds like it might be a bend. But most often a slide. Okay? Quite tricky to do within a phrase when you're used to doing it as a slurring. So that little leak goes. He's one of the only guys too that can play just a pentatonic scale and make it sound like it is so much more, which he does at the end of this leak. Hard to hear because it goes in. So by using different dynamics in the picking, which is something he does a lot as well, instead of things just being, it'll be, don't know if that's coming across exactly, but you know what I mean. So the last part he does there, the timing is kind of loose as well. So instead of being that, goes into a nice, delicate little bit at the end. Okay, enough of that one. Let's jump onto something else. Beautiful, okay. 
the staccato thing, man, it's, it's one of the main things is uh, even if you're doing something smooth and groovy, it's still... Okay. A really fast little slide from the blues note. And then just pentatonic. Okay. And then this is another thing with these bends, you'll often... They sound very strained a lot of the time in a really cool way because there's no vibrato on the top. And then you come back to the E and you just cut it off straight away. So... And the timing has just got this really cool looseness to it. Um, I don't know how you learn that. Just be Robin Ford jam with Miles Davis and shit like that. That lick in general, whether it be on that string or a different... That's one of his as well. Um, again, it's something, not a big deal, but it's not the way that we would most commonly jump on and do that lick. So it's just the E blues scale, but... And just the pentatonic at the end, but... Actually, kind of works better with that sequence sometimes to move it down the neck. And that way, also, you don't fall into such a kind of boring way of playing the, you know, the shape the way you're used to doing it. If you have to move and think about it a bit more, you're more likely to put a bit more interesting uh, dynamics into it, I think. This is a really cool change in the groove, right? From all the, the faster things into this really swung straight ahead but it sounds so great uh e blues it's the way that the notes are not all just even you know a um, couple of quick ones here you'll just have to pick it up It's the staccato thing in the rhythm. It's just the E minor pentatonic. You slide up there, and then up to an F sharp, and then semitone bend. And then he does this crazy thing. I love it. It's just a, it drops down to an F, right? And that's that kind of jazzy thing that he'll throw in. Thing is, you don't actually have to be a jazz nut and know all your melodic minor modes and things to be able to throw in. For example, in that key, you're doing your blues thing, the F, as a note on its own, a little rough. But you can throw that in. Cool little color, as long as you uh, can phrase that in a way so that it finishes nicely. Very cool note. Okay, last one. Um, again, this is a cool way of just throwing a note in in an order of a phrase where it sort of pops out as being something really crazy. But e minor pentatonic, minor third, and then jump straight onto the major third. Now, those two notes you can use all the time in blues, but you don't usually do the minor third and then the major third in such a way like that. That sounds more like a you're doing something a bit more jazzier out there. And then straight into, you know, staccato always and straight into something really straight ahead that kind of evens out there. Check out what he does after that. You know, most of us, we're doing our blues thing on a good day. Obviously, I don't play like Robin Ford, but on a good day, you rip out something cool. Robin's doing his thing, and then it's... Why not throw a C major arpeggio in there? Why not? Just that one interesting note. That's what he does. So at the end of that, C major arpeggio. <laughs> Craziness. So, uh, look, there is the tiniest little insight into the Robin Ford style, right? I really love that lick. Um... I'm going to show it to you, even if you're going to turn off because we're going too long. Use the C major arpeggio again. Or so. Okay. And then 
he goes into a rocking standard blues lick that played so well. So it's the that guy, right? And then it's this thing that he does again from earlier. So. Just straight down the E minor pentatonic down to a G. There's a little twinkle of Robin Ford. Uh, we love the guy. We'll be back soon with some more great guitar playing legends. Go practice.